I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, people are coming in. Okay. Hello. We're live on Paul Cherry's Hidden Gems with Kate Bollinger. We're talking um, deep cuts. And we're, uh, Kate brought five songs that have under 100,000 plays for the live stream. We are going to talk about whatever you guys want if you get in the chat. And Kate's never been live before. She's a first timer for live. So get over to twitch.tv slash paulcherry69. We've already got our first person in the chat. And we're looking to advance our knowledge base on music and um, the undercurrent wave. So Kate, do you have anything to add? Get in there with us. Woo! <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. So here we go. Ready? Do we wait for, for well, a couple more people? If you go live on Instagram oh. and you do the same thing, then more people will come. I'm, I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to do a split second. Okay. You could just have me talk if you wanted. No, no, no. Hold on. How do you even do it? Rocket man. Rocket man. I know you will. Oh, so you go like... Doo -doo. Yeah, just hit that button. Tell me when you want me to go. Okay. Are we live? Yeah. All right, we're live on at, uh, we're live on Kate Bollinger's Instagram story, talking about getting you to go to my Insta or my Twitch. There's no, no one in there. No, that you got to give it a second. This is such an insane thing. We have um, some people in the chat starting to come in. Let's just. I'm happy with these yeah. guys. Okay, yeah. cool. It's a little cumbersome. All right, here we go. We're starting the show. Ready? Ooh. And we're live with another episode of Paul Cherry's Hidden Gems live stream, the only show on Twitch that talks about the deep cuts. First up, today we've got Kate Bollinger, long-awaited and many times demanded guest by the stands. Welcome, Kate. Thank you. Oh, wow. Sir. They love you. They're so stoked. All right, welcome to the show, Kate. Thank you, Paul. Can everybody hear everything okay? I think I just wanted to make sure the gain staging is correct. We're riding the Ferris wheel. We're live on Wednesday night and we've got our spritzes. Cheers. Thank you so much for being on the show. I know you have Whoa, some Sludge good songs. Bob. Oh, Sludge yeah. Bob is here. You, have you heard about Sludge Bob? No. Oh. I'm pretty sure he's like everybody's biggest fan. I thought I used oh, to cool. think he was my biggest fan, but I think he's just the biggest fan of everything. Cool. The Beast Bob, thank you. So, Kate's never, never been live before. She has never gone live. And this is her first live stream. So, give it up one more time for Kate being on live. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Little golf clap. Aww. So, you know. You've probably never watched an episode of this, and you have not much of an idea of what we're even doing, but I did tell you we're listening to music, and we're listening to songs that have under 100,000 plays, and you brought five, maybe six? Between four and six. Yes. Then we're going to go by ear. We've got people in the chat. Thank you for chatting away. And um, Maya, as always, we have my beautiful and lovely wife, Maya Nordine. There she is. Hello, everyone. Oh, she deserves a big <laughs> round of applause today. Yeah. We've had a very hard last day, haven't we? It's been really tough, yeah. We've had a hard day because our small dog named Ms. P has been in the hospital. Yes. And let's get a little zoom in on her. She has been hurting. Can we see her? She's on a lot of drugs right now. Oh, here we go, look. She got a little thing stuck up her nose and it ended up being like an insane fiasco, something we'd never heard of because we're from the Midwest. It's called a foxtail. Well, we've heard of it before. It's not. I we, mean, I never did. We <laughs> we hadn't heard about it until I hadn't heard about it until maybe like two summers ago when we moved here. So we spent the whole night last night at an animal hospital and then the entire day today at an animal hospital. Yes. But she's OK. And the stream can go on stream as scheduled. On. And thank God for that. Yes. So, Kate, what have you brought for us today, the first track? Um, the first track that I brought is from a compilation called Ghost Riders, which is okay. uh, mid-60s to mid-70s 
compilation of indie rock and psych rock. Love it. And, and what is the song called? The song, I put <coughs> two on there. I can't remember which one's first. Will you turn up Kate's gain staging a little bit on the blue channel? Channel two on the mixer. Yeah, at the bottom. We, we check, check. Check, check. A little more. Do, do, do. We just want to make sure we can hear you. Okay, cool. Um, okay, cool. And so this song is called, and how many plays does it have? You don't you have you're to asking me? No, Maya, Maya tells us. I don't know what the but song she is But we don't know what it's called because um, you brought it. Okay, one second. Okay, the first one is called A Puppet by oh. the Mod 4. Okay, cool. A Puppet. Maya? I'm trying to <laughs> <laughs> Okay, while we're waiting, how was your day, Kate? It was good. Uh... I just ran some errands and had a couple meetings. And dealt with the heat. Dealt with the heat. I don't know which you to look at. <laughs> you can look at and you can look at the chat. You can look at me. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to look at you. I'm going to look out out front. Okay. At my adoring fans. Yeah, yeah. Um. So. The song is called. A oh, puppet. We got Maya <laughs> working hard over there in Techland. Well, it wouldn't let me pull up the the album cover for some reason okay but I, but I got it now can you see it yes I can see it would you make it full screen of course look at this album cover it's pretty cool yeah it's like a collage and this is an indie rock col uh, compilation f and this song is somewhere from the 2000s no 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 it's like it's a compilation of 1968 oh yeah, 60s and 70s you like said garage that you said that rockers okay. unknown garage let's band. get into this it this one has 20,000 plays yes i like the way it's keying on the screen <laughs> give it a little volume Hell yeah. This is what I was expecting from you, Kate. This is so good. Uh oh, we're getting psychedelic on screen. Oh, shoot. This is so Diamonds Jefferson Airplane mode. It's like Jefferson Airplane and um, Sandy Denny. Who's Sandy Benny? She's from uh, Fairport San Convention. Sandy Denny. Yeah, Sandy Denny. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Do you know Fairport Convention? Yeah, 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 yeah. I once had the guy from um, My Name is Earl, Jason Lee. You know that show? No. It's like a TV show from the 2000s. He yelled at me about Sandy Denny. Yeah, you can only see who's who's in if they're commenting. Kate, we can't hear you unless you talk really close <laughs> into the microphone. I was saying I wonder if Parker's in here. I bet you Parker's watching. Who, wait, who's Parker? Parker, <laughs> we love Parker. We do. <laughs> Parker, if you're here, speak up, buddy. So, Kate, it's your first time being live. Are you feeling good, bad, neutral? Shy, brave, how are you feeling about being live so far? I'm feeling shy and neutral. How do we break the shyness? I, I don't, I think that uh, my non-shyness is reserved for real life. <laughs> this is real <laughs> life though, that's the crazy part. You are living it right now. Um, if you guys have any questions that are appropriate questions for Kate, hopefully that could break her camera shyness. This is my goal of the day, is to make you, by the end of the day, less shy on, on live. Oh. Okay. Beautiful song, Kate. Thank you for the submission. Of course. It's total Kate core. And I'm trying to bring some Kate core myself to the... Oh, yeah. So I've got a couple tracks that I wanted to share. That's funny. I actually brought a song that we're going to listen to that I think is Paul core. Yes, somewhat. that's amazing. <laughs> I tried to, like, cater to you on my picks, and I'm glad oh. you tried to cater to me at least a little bit. So, let's oh, see. thank you, Piper. Oh, Piper's going to stand. It's okay, I'm shy too, Kate. 
Oh, that's nice. Okay, so let's see. In the Kate Gems folder, I have a lot of stuff. Maya, will you play this? Um, will you play this? Uh, I can't find the playlist here. Kate Gems. Oh, there we go. Kate B. Gems. Okay. I want to start off with a funny song, a, a comedy song. It's it's by Anna Marie. So, you ever go on Instagram Reels, Kate? Or are you more of a TikTok queen? I occasionally go on Reels. Do you? Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'm kind of more a YouTube Shorts guy myself, uh -huh. but uh, sometimes I'll creep over to Reels. Yeah. And I'll get a little bit of music content. Do you ever get any sort of music content on your Reels? I don't. No, it's just usually animals. I think because of the nature of what I am interested in, they feed me a lot of like up-and-coming singer-songwriters, people who are like really peddling their music okay. in a really shameless way. Yeah. And every once in a while you come across one, like Anna Marie. We've got Anna Marie here. She, um, she's got a budding music career. I think she got 24 likes on the post I saw. Um, this song came out, it's called Thank You. It got a thousand plays in the first week. And it's just kind of insane music. Doesn't the album cover kind of look like that one Linda McCartney it totally cover? It does. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think she took thing. inspiration? Is that the song? That Far away, a distant love affair. I think so. That oh, love's full glory. We've had, I think we've had that on the show. That's a great Linda McCartney but song. But I feel like... Linda? like uh, I don't know Linda as okay. much, but I like her. I like what I've seen of her. I actually haven't yeah. listened to her. Oh really. my god, she's so good. The gems know everything, so <laughs> they'll 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 know the oh, the album cover. Saying I'm Pearl, saying. Pearl and the oysters are Pearl in the, sh the in the chat tonight. Fresh from their fresh back from their Asia tour. That's pretty exciting. Have they been on here? Yeah, they've been guested twice. twice. Oh wow! And you're always oh. welcome back. Oh, if great. you enjoy the live experience. <laughs> It's literally just a place to just clown and not worry about anything, like getting canceled or saying the wrong thing. Perfect. Because my fans say way worse stuff, <laughs> and I can hold anything over their heads, and I'm a, a malicious, um, I'm a malicious uh, person, person and Megalo human. megalomaniac and megalomaniac yeah. egomaniac. Right, right. Um, okay, so we got Anna Marie, one thousand something plays. This is new music dropped last week. It actually has 2,200 plays. Oh, dude, she, her numbers. She's skyrocketing right now. So I was an early adopter. I was an early finder. I'm in the A&R of Paul Cherry's Hidden Gems. And let's get into it. Let's do it. Blast it. It didn't end to plaque we wanted. Might have broken down in tears. Seemed so small, but at the time The heartbreak felt so real We had some history behind us Yes! We've been friends for quite some time It's got a Dido thing going now on. everything's left you know? in the dust <laughs> Totally. It still blows my mind It's just called Thank You, Paul. It doesn't have a Dido thing. It's just called Thank You. You free. Felt like a part of me was gone The harmony I thought you would like this, Kate, when I heard it. Uh, <laughs> I don't not like it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I feel like I want to see, is that her on the album cover? Yeah, can we see a non keyed out a version? Of her? Yeah. When I was scared and insecure. Oh my god. <laughs> she has big braces. I love, I love, I actually love this cover. Me I too. I love the tag. I Me love too. the font. The font, the is, font awesome. is amazing. Yeah. It, it's giving, he says, it's giving 2013 high school talent show. I agree. Totally. But the album cover is something a little bit more mature than that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It is giving suburbs, though. Big suburbs music. It is, it has real emotion, though, which I do like. Wait, so you found this on YouTube? I found it on uh, Reels. On Reels. Okay. It's giving Unfabulous to me. And unfabulous? Do you remember Unfabulous, no, the show? Great no. show. Unfabulous was a show starring Emma Roberts. Yep. She had the song, New Shoes, You Rule, You Rule. Not you singing a different shoes. song over <laughs> this song. You don't think it could go? Mashup of the century. 
mean, there's more. There's even more on Fabulous Hits. Well, we know. Keep it going. You help me find my voice. That's the part really in the. Well, that's the part in the, in the reels that I saw. Thank you. Hey. Think, hey. Thank you. <laughs> The thing that really caught me about her was her huge braces and the like, you know, when the bands stick together, there's something trying to like keep the mouth closed with two rubber bands. Yeah. She's singing with that huge like, oh, switch up. Oh, shit. Oh. Regina Spector switch up. Uh, Remember Regina? I was obsessed with Regina I could see Spectre that. <laughs> when I was in middle school. I was also obsessed with Regina Spector when I was in orchestra camp. We were talking about we were talking about Regina Spector recently. Our respective favorite Regina songs. What are they? What's uh, yours, Paul? I forgot. Oh man, I don't remember any of the names of Regina Spector songs. Us? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Sound off in the comments for favorite Regina Spector song. Mine's Human of the Year. Uh, oh, mine is a good one. Mine is Samson. I wish that we could take a break and play our favorite well, Regina song. We could. We'd get, we don't have to. It would be kind of dangerous. We'd get. Okay. We'd probably get flagged. Okay, this okay. song is going. Okay. Ca- listen to this song. Oh, you Harmony. I. This reminded me of a. <laughs> this reminded me of a song that I wish I'd put on the playlist. You can put it. You can make it's an only audible. on SoundCloud. Yeah, we could pull it up. Okay. All right. I think we should peel out of Thank You by Anna Marie. Thank you. Oh, she's tagging the ending. Thank you. Thank you. This part has like a Christina Perry uh, vibe. Of a thousand years. Remember that? (laughs) Oh, I'm a big Christina. We should go around the table and say our favorite Christina Perry song. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't think I know any. Mine's a thousand years. (laughs) (laughs) She has another one. It's called like Jar of Hearts. That's my favorite. Oh, yeah. I know that one too. I forgot that was her. Her breakout single. Yeah. (laughs) White Girls Sound Off for Christina Perry. I think she debuted on So You Think You Can Dance. Not a big deal. Did she, was she a contestant on that? (laughs) No, she just, she played her her little piano while some people were dancing to some to it. Very, yeah, to very cool. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. Okay. And the internet went <laughs> wild, okay, you guys? <laughs> and, and it broke the internet exactly. in 2016. Okay, what's next, Kate? All the right. next Kate track. The next song that I have for you guys is... Let's do this SoundCloud one. This comment is insane. Katie, do you have a favorite <laughs> Just Dance game? Everybody thinks that my name is Katie. That is so <laughs> weird. I think um, it's kind of on you, though. It is. I made that my oh, cause it's cause ki- my Instagram. Oh, because it's KDB. But I yeah. don't want to change it because I've had it since I was 14. No, I shouldn't change it. Yeah. I forgot that that would lead people to think your name was Katie. I'm on SoundCloud. Yeah. What is the song? Okay. Spell it out. It's called, the artist is Rose Droll, D-R-O-L-L. And the song is called Too Damn Good to Give Up. And it has 15.9 thousand listens. I once asked you if you liked, if anybody called you Katie, and you were like, no, I don't like that. <laughs> well, just my dad and Shags. Uh, <laughs> and who? Shags. Oh, and Shags. Yeah. Um, and then I thought that most of the time people just get your last name wrong and they say Bollinger. Wait, no, it Bollinger. Bollinger. Yeah. <laughs> I say it right now, but I, did, I used to say it wrong before I was. Uh, I know. Before you woke me up Sound from my sleep. Sound always gets me because the volume. Is like the gain staging. It's hard to find. Okay, now I found it. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Because uh, you know it's about to be full blast. And that's yeah, we don't want to be hitting it like full blast like that. It's going to be a little skirt. Someone asked, is I- Edelweiss playing? Is yeah, this Edelweiss? I, I think this is Edelweiss, yeah. <laughs> Edelweiss. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's Edelweiss. <laughs> Get into it. Oh. <laughs> Pearl. <laughs> Okay, how many plays? 15,000. I was not expecting you to bring a SoundCloud song today. (laughs) I became friends with this girl on SoundCloud. (laughs) Oh, shit. Wow. Turn it up a little bit. 
I love it. Oh, hey. I love it. How many plays? I don't. I think she's only said it about three times, Paul. Fifteen point nine oh, thousand. <laughs> my brain is. Okay. So cool. When I first heard this song, I was really jealous. You were really jealous? Yeah, it was like, this is exactly what I want my music to sound like, wow. and I haven't been able to do it. It's super live drums vibes. Totally. Is it still what you want your music to sound like? I mean, I love it still, but I feel like I've found what I want my music to sound like. It's got kind of like, what's that? You really love this one artist. Spiced. Spiced, yeah. It has a vibe like that to me. Or like chairlift or something. I don't really know chairlift, to be honest. I think that's Caroline Polachek's old thing, It right? is, yeah. If this song was really well recorded, it would be like an Apple commercial song. What do you think? Totally. Well, you're just saying that because of Spiced. Well, that's what it's reminding me of. Yeah, yeah totally. But same with Chairlift was also Yeah, Apple. yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> and Yael. Yeah, we're on you. Oh. Yael Naim. I feel like that was like, the, they picked good songs back then. They did, yeah. Is this from 2015? Uh, I think, yeah, around there. Let me see. Maya, do you like this? I do. Would you consider it modern lo-fi music? I, I feel like this came before people started calling things lo-fi. That's pre-bedroom pop. Oh, God. Yeah, I hate that. You hate bedroom pop? I just hate that word. Would you have been considered bedroom pop by some people in the world? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so was I, or so am I. Yeah. I guess I'm bedroom pop, too. Yeah. But we one day we're gonna have our bedroom pop revival, and it's I gonna be like indie sleaze, but in ten years from now, and our, right. all of our careers are gonna get a meg, a big bump. So be excited for that. Okay. Um, yeah, this came out. How do you see when it came out? It usually says like posted five years ago on SoundCloud, but maybe it says it only on the desktop. Okay, gotcha. I can't. S I can't tell. But s the earliest comments were five years ago. Okay. There so we go. So maybe my guess is so five years ago. So that would be 2018. Oh, I, no, I see it. It's, it's five years ago. That would be... 2018. A great year for music. 2018, the same year my debut album was released. Wow. So what a great year for music. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm wondering if my friend Al Heaney is in here. Oh, I've played Al's music on the show before. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, it's... I, I actually almost brought a Jungle Green song. I've all, I think Have I've you played Al solo? Music? I don't know if we played Jungle Green on the show or not. But I, think I, I think you did. I think I... You played one like two... A few yeah, I think like I did too. Two shows ago. I was getting so excited because Kate was sh uh, showing me the uh, Jungle yeah. Green. And then the... And then Essential I got Forever? An Instagram ad for Essential Forever or something, oh. which is how I saw it. The show is easy to put oh on God, because Instagram just feeds me. That Bring an Andrew H. Smith song. That's Jungle Green. Okay, so that's Tomper, and they live in Salt Lake City, and that's a band from Salt Lake City, and they're very oh, cool. cool. And they probably saw you play at the Kilby Fest, if I'm correct. I like to keep up with what the fans are watching and listening to. We have a Discord page. Ooh. If you're new to the show, join the Discord. We're talking every day about music. Okay, it's my turn to play a song. And this one I want to play, Brian Prothero, Moon Over Malibu, because it's the middle of summer. I thought you picked a different one. Okay. No, I played. I think I picked Moon Over Malibu. That? Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this album. This album is so good, and this song is a gem. How many plays does it have? This one has 73K. Yes. Which is actually pretty good, Paul. <laughs> pretty good. Okay, That's Tomper's saying good. that you follow his design page Tommy Springs oh yeah oh cool yeah I love great designs. designs we love those designs yeah awesome this song is so freaking good and it's somehow a hidden gem 73k plays 
The harmonies on it are amazing. This is like Laurel Canyon music, yeah, 1970s. Yeah, I love that cover. I think you're, this is one I picked specifically for you, Kate. This is like my favorite kind of music. Yeah, it's chill, right? Yeah. It's somehow Polynesian. It's a like California Polynesian. I love this part here. Darling. Let me get a little cheesy bit. should do this in one of your songs I've thought about it and I've I tried it <laughs> Maya's heard my crappy version of doing this in many songs have I? I don't know maybe you haven't maybe I've hidden that away I remember like on the on the flavored like demos I remember you had one that was like you were trying to be sex and you were like baby girl yeah. you know I've been thinking about you for a long time yeah I tried <laughs> I tried doing that that one never made it that to the that was stayed on the cutting room floor that one never got revealed but I thought it was really cute so. sometimes you gotta be a little cringe it, it was definitely like a baby girl <laughs> it, it did start with baby girl I've been I'm not afraid to say how, that I've been very cringy in my life and this I'm sounds like a continuing. Christmas song to me it does kind of I love it it sounds like Beach Boys Christmas it does I didn't put Christmas to it when I heard it but it's I almost a little bit like Darlene Love Christmas I just love the vocal harmonies. A lot of chromatic harmony. Also, it's kind of like pizza restaurant music. <laughs> Moon over Malibu. You heard it here first on Paul Cherry's Hidden Gems live stream. The Deepest Cuts with DJ Paul Cherry. Wow. <laughs> who is that? That's my friend. <laughs> that's my little friend who hypes me up when I need a little hyping. Wow, that's awesome. Um, I loved that one. Yeah, it's so good. Okay, next. Back to you, Kate. All right, let's see. Okay, next up is a song... <laughs> Called Groovy Stranger by Elon Noon. Oh, any any musician named Elon, I'm in. <laughs> One of my favorite names. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, easily, yeah. Um, Not sus. It's yeah. <laughs> it's uh. Do you know the band Loving? Oh, love the Loving. I'm pretty sure Isn't that. Isn't that guy's name Paul? Um, there's a guy named David. Okay. <laughs> But I think Elon Noon maybe okay. Somebody in here knows it. I think that um, this guy may have may have played in Loving, or okay. maybe does. As now. just a ba like a band member. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. But I could be wrong. Elon Noon. Yeah. That's a cool name. Not as cool as <laughs> you know <laughs> Paul <laughs> Cherry, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with the name Elon. Yeah. Oh, sheesh. This is what I this is the one I thought you would like. Yeah, it's great. 
It reminds me of Fivella's Glock already. It's like it's like um, Elliot Smith as well. Elliot Smith vibes. Okay. Oh, his name is spelled E L A N. Oh, that's Would you still say that's Elon? redeeming. It's very redeeming. Yeah, I like it. Oh my God, it's so good. This would be a, sh- a song that would be in the show Scrubs. I've never seen Scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I would love it, actually, based on what I've heard. You would love Scrubs. Yeah. Are you, have you ever seen Grey's Anatomy? Yeah, my mom loves that show. Oh, they do have that good morning vibe. Oh, totally, yeah. Good morning is straight up bedroom pop band. Really? I, I guess so. Maybe I do like bedroom pop then. I don't <laughs> know. I like a lot of stuff that is called bedroom pop, but I don't approve of the name. Yes. Because it's diminishing. Maya, always on the show, she says, I hate modern lo-fi. <laughs> yeah, I hate... I Well, I like that music, but I don't like the name. Yeah, it's such a bad name. Yeah. I just don't... Paul, but Paul makes a good point where he's like, it's about like accessibility, where it's like, not everybody has the access the same tools so like to make something lo-fi is like yeah. it's like an equalizer it There's levels the playing field for a lot of people right there is a reason why it's lo-fi it's because it's made with cheap stuff and that's the accessibility factor that's why all music sounds like this and all of it gets like a hundred thousand streams right but i feel like even i think i don't like when i know that people have access to more and they're still calling it lo-fi I don't know. What should it be called if you I could don't title know. it? I don't know. If you could pick a name for the genre. I don't know. Yeah, because I guess it's not really indie rock. It's like kind of. Kind of indie rock. Okay, that song was Gas. <laughs> All of the songs featured on tonight's show will be in- linked in the Discord. If somebody in the chat wants to put that Discord link down, we need new members. Thank you. And Kate, if you see the little Doritos emojis, yeah, I was wondering. That means you played a good song. It's ah. like a, it's like, it's like applause or something. Wow, cool. There's a little Thank you. sub language going on here. <laughs> Brofi. Oh, Ooh. Brofi. Oh, that was Casey Kong. You know what? Yeah. That, I think we need to go to this week's fan submission, which is by Casey Kong. Shut the front. Yeah. Casey. So, there's a little video for this one too. It's on YouTube. Casey dropped this in the fan submission tab today, and I was, like, blown away. It does it begin with an R? Uh, yes, it does. I think I know what it is. You just got hit with a f- 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 fan submission. We're about to get hit with a fan submission, y'all, by Casey Kong. In case you're wondering, Edelweiss is playing from this <laughs> In video. case you're wondering, royalty-free Edelweiss is playing. <laughs> Okay, this one had a video. And this, this is it, right? So yeah, yeah. So this is a song that c- we have this little tab in the in the Discord where people can put songs they want me to put on the show, and every week I do one. And if I'm impressed, Maybe and this you'll one, do too. this one really it impressed me, and I, I just wanted to feature it. It's called what's it called? Reading Road or something? Reader Rabbit Math, ages it four to six. I was like, what is this? And then I listened to the songwriting, and I was like, all right. It's pretty good. I want to see what you think. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Casey. (laughs) Reader Rabbit coming at you. <laughs> wow, I love it. Adding and subtracting using math, don't you know that numbers exactly. move us forward and reverse us? Oh, the hippo has nice legs. Hey. Add the mathematical hey. Hey. circle. Come along with Reader Rabbit. Come along with Reader Rabbit. Come along with Reader Rabbit. It's like Abba. Come along. So good.
You know what, Kate? I had a little bit of an agenda with picking that fan submission, too. You want to know why I picked yeah. that one for you? Yeah, why? Because I wanted you to maybe, if you were comfortable sharing a little bit about your musical past, you know, like with children's music. And <laughs> you know, we could <laughs> play one of those, actually. I would absolutely love that. That would be sure, so yeah. exciting. Um, but what is that, Kate? Explain. My mom is a children was a children's musician when I was growing up. Yes. And I grew up singing on her children's music albums. That's exactly right. And, and this is what I wanted. <laughs> there, <laughs> there's there's a song if you want to look it up, Maya. It's called Kate's Kingdom. Oh, I have not heard this. Oh, you know we could do that one. There are a few others, but this is the Kate's one. Kate's Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By who? Kathy By Bollinger. Kathy Bollinger. And it's called Bollinger. Oh yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I see it here. Kate's Kingdom. Sorry. I so is this song Spotify. for you? Yeah, I'm I'm singing lead. Wait, you are? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This is exciting. Oh, and this is from Alphabet Jam. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is incredible. Okay. From 2006. Okay, oh so yeah. this is a throwback. My eight-year-old debut. How many plays? Zero. Really? Oh. None. Well, no listed. Zero? None listed. Wow. Zero that we can Well, see. we need to run this one way up. Yeah. <laughs> as far as the eye can see, this has got <laughs> not a... This is actually... Oh, okay. This is kind of a Hidden Gems exclusive. It is. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's hear it. Let's blast it. Full volume. Kate's Kingdom. Oh, Ooh, fanfare. Uh, bits In of a fanfare. And she took her Kingdom, <laughs> Kate's King. This that is your mom, though. Says oh. Kate. King Kate sounds great. In Kate's okay, Kingdom, this is so cute. Kate's King. Kate called me King. It kind of has a nice ring. Kate's oh the kind God. of king who gets a kick out of kittens. In Kate's kingdom, kittens are kept everywhere. Kate's the kind of king who what? eats ketchup <laughs> for breakfast. In Kate's kingdom, it's a ketchup affair. Ketchup on eggs. Ketchup on cheese. What? Ketchup on corn. <laughs> Have me more ketchup, please. Who were those people? Who was all of them? Um, who were they? Yeah, just other children. <laughs> <laughs> Says Kate. King Kate sounds great. Breaking gender Kate's binaries at an early age. Kate's oh yeah. King. Keep calling me King. It kind of has a nice ring. I agree. Kate's the kind of king who gets a kick out of kittens. In Kate's <laughs> kingdom, kittens are kept everywhere. Kate's the kind of king who <laughs> eats are ketchup what? for kept everywhere. In Kate's kingdom, it's a ketchup affair. Anyway. I didn't ketchup on eggs. Ketchup on cheese. Ketchup on corn. Kindly more ketchup, please. <laughs> ketchup on mustard. Yes. Ketchup on buns. <laughs> ketchup on pickles. <laughs> Could this song be done? No. Kittens and ketchup. Oh, no. Kittens and ketchup. Uh-uh. Kittens uh -uh. and ketchup. Oh, it's like oh, no. a letter K uh -uh. song. Ketchup. It's a letter K song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alphabet rugs. jam. Ketchup on stairs. Ketchup on That's my mom. So sweet. Ketchup on chairs. Ketchup on ketchup. Oh, stop. I remember all the words was to the these end? songs. Yeah, that's it. That was it. The end of the song is kind of haunting. Yeah. Ketchup it's ketchup. like a psychedelic ketchup kids song. Ketchup. I liked it. Wow, I thought it was that really deserves. Cute. <laughs> thank you. Big. Wow. Wow, thank you. Big Doritos for Kate's Kingdom. And now I will only refer to you as King Kate for the rest of the oh, episode. Oh, great. I didn't expect that song to be about <laughs> ketchup as much as it was. I actually <laughs> did put ketchup on my eggs when I was growing up. Yeah. On my scrambled eggs. I like um, jelly in my eggs. Oh. Jelly? I actually kind of like that too. Yeah, yeah. I like. I like putting jelly yeah, on toast and then exactly eggs on top of that. If it slides off, oh, that's strawberry okay. jelly. Strawberry jelly. Or yeah. grape. It's got to be strawberry. Or grape, but I like strawberry. I, I also really like orange jelly, orange marmalade. Ma marmalade? Yeah. My favorite kind of jelly is raspberry jelly. Oh, Look at this comment. Next time I trip, that song is on <laughs> <repeat>. <laughs> Okay, so that kind of reminds me of Maya's childhood um, working mu uh, artist background. Maya, have you ever shared that on the ch on this stream before? No. Maya used to be a working kid artist as well. Whoa. What it's does that mean? Um, you can we see you on screen for this bit? We want to see you on screen. Okay. Hold on. I wonder if I can find a video. Do you think there's video evidence? 
There is video evidence, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, can see, I see the commercial. Oh, you already found it? I found one of... So I... Well, let me find myself This here. is exciting, revealing. I'm a little discombobulated. It's okay. What did what did she do? She was um, so Maya's dad was recording a recording engineer in Chicago. That's got true. hired by some Chinese toy company, mm-hmm. and was like to like make the voices that go inside the toys in the nineties. Yeah, so I was the like I would do uh, most of, a lot of it was talking, but there was uh, some singing depending on the toy. It was a lot of like the the C and say where you like pull the string, and it says like. Pull the lever when the light stops at the animal that makes this sound. <laughs> Whoa. So for like yeah. after school, I would go to this recording studio with my dad and I would just sit there and he would feed me lines over and over. The frog. The frog. The oh frog. The bear. The bear. The bear. It was like that for hours and hours and hours. And then afterwards I would get a Barbie doll. Wow. <laughs> Very That's topical amazing. for this for the time, 2023. Yes. So, but do you have the commercial? I do have a commercial of one of the toys that I did called Sing Along Susie. We got to watch it. Whoa, that's This is so that's exciting. Cool. Um I have it up there, but let me turn off I my love uh, my royalty so free music here. Okay. We're going to scooch for Sing Along Susie. I wish I had someone That's not you. Left. No. It's you were simply I'm the doll. <laughs> That's me. You yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous voice, Maya. Mom, we're ready. There was a farmer had a duck, and Bingo was his name. Oh, P I N G O. Bingo was his name. Wow, Maya, beautiful singing. Susie sings six karaoke songs. Yeah. Batteries not included. Wow. Yeah, I wish I had someone to sing with. Oh, it's, we're going to get... Oh. Wow, they, they edited the two <laughs> versions <laughs> of the commercial together. That's something? kind of fun, right? Wow. Yeah, it's kind of cute. I wish I had some uh, kitty lore. I wish I had someone to sing with. We <laughs> could wa- we could watch my video, A Day in the Life of Paul. Oh, I love that <laughs> what video. Is, what is that? It's so cringe. I don't know if we should. <laughs> is it what I made a video like? when I was in middle school of me like hanging out at the park, and it's really cringe. <laughs> Wait, they've already seen it. <laughs> <laughs> We're not watching that. We're not <laughs> Paul, watching. Paul, I'm pretty sure you played it on the show. Oh, before. maybe I did. That's All right. Funny. Okay, so moving right along, I actually want to move into our new segment that we've been doing. Oh, cool. it's oh, called yeah. for our Forgotify segment. So, this is something we started last week. Maya wasn't actually on last week. It was me and JoJo, but we found out because Dent put me onto this website called Forgotify.com. It just brings up songs. It randomly brings up songs that have um, zero plays on, on Spotify. Whoa. Song, I guess there's something like 6,000 songs per day that are uploaded to Spotify, which is kind of depressing. <laughs> 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 but so many of these songs just never get played. Yeah. They just get uploaded by whoever, and wow. there's no promotion. That's cool. So, this, so here's the thing, Maya. If you hit preview or whatever, if you hit play in there, it's going to be super loud. So you have to click through back to Spotify unless you guys are down to have it be super loud but there's no like built in engine for volume so what is this song it's called Ida Fix or Ida Fix by Joe Perillo oh this is actually kind of nice no yeah I kind of like it turn it up a little bit so this song has never been played before on Spotify wow what do you think can we see the cover yeah I have a scooch. Oh, that's it. It's kind of cool. What year is it from? 1994. Can you click like on this song for me? Wait, but it was uploaded today or it just has zero No, plays? it's just been uploaded and okay. no one's clicked on it. Wow. Do you think there's going to be vocals? Oh. I don't know. So this is ni- from 1994? Great year. I don't, I don't think... I, I was think born... I don't think there's going to be vocals. I don't think, I don't so. think so. Were you born in 1994? I said I was born. I had been born all th- already. But oh. I, I was born in 1993. As was I. No, I wasn't. Okay, next song. I was waiting for vocals. We're going to put that in the... We'll make sure that goes in the old chat for for uh, in the Discord for listening later. 
But, oh, oh, Wondering Why. Her Majesty. I actually ha- worked on a song called Wondering Why once. I wonder if this is the song. <laughs> okay, who is this by? It's by Her Majesty's Buzz, and it's from the album One of Our Astronauts is Missing Part One, The Cough Syrup Chronicles, oh and it's God, from that 2000. Is so, that is so cringe. 2003. <laughs> okay, we got a song from 2003. Her Majesty's Butt. Buzz. Oh. Right? Yeah. Actually, I kind of like it. It's giving local vibes. Wow, this reminds me of Teenage Fan Club. Wow, I don't know about that. (laughs) (laughs) But I do like it. I kind of like this one. Wait, people are hating it? I kind of like the vocal. What does this remind me of? Tom Petty or something? It's like the same era as... I think it sounds like Sheryl Crow. Me too. What? Male yes. Sheryl Crow. It sounds like... Um, it's like Tom Petty, If though. it makes you happy or something. Right, totally. I kind of like this part. I kind of like it. I kind of like it too. We like it for me on quick like. We're gonna revisit this one later. Okay, I like that one. Next. I love this game. I'm addicted. <laughs> what do you think, Kate? About this game or yeah. that song? I like this game. Oh, this one's gonna be good. I think. What's it called? It's called Bill Bailey. Please call your service by Jim Self on the album My America. It's and like it's so like a it's so meaningless when you say it. <laughs> Jesus. This one's going to be fun, you guys. It's truly the musical bottom of the barrel. Wait, it Menace is acting like he knows who this is. It was arranged <laughs> by um Kim Sharnberg if anybody wants. Menace is know. saying that he loves this artist and that he knows it. Stop! No, you don't, dude. This is insane. <laughs> this is kind of some of the most boring. This is some of the most boring. Oh, that's right. He does play tuba. What are the chances we got the? How do you know that about him? Because I'm like, <laughs> I'm involved. You know, this is my life. You know, and I'm just living it. Everybody else knows that he plays tuba too. Why do you guys know this? This is not okay. Menace has been submitting this song for years in in the to Discord. To no avail, and finally <laughs> hits on subs. Next, I'm not a Jim Self guy personally, but I haven't really given it a chance. Oh, it's given like a uh, curb your enthusiasm. Totally. Is it he works with him? No, you guys are trolling me. Songs performed on <laughs> X Factor Volume Two. Yes, definitely. Yes, I want to hear this. So this is like a recording of a performance that was on X Factor. Kind of like American Idol used to release like digital singles of covers. It's it by somebody called Union of Sound. We just do this for like 10 minutes in the middle of the episode. Fly me to the moon. Boo, next. Let me next. Play. <laughs> That's that a sounded weird. exactly like Frank. That didn't. Do you think that was a different singer? I thought it was just like a sample. Oh. Very strong. It probably was. Sound kind of sketch. next. Thank you. Next, if it looks I'll like I'll be it's home with bells on low key performance track without background vocals. That's so specific. <laughs> what the hell is this? What year? Two thousand one, by Jeff and Sherry Easter. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Jeez. Last week we is were this getting Christmas. Last week we were getting a lot of rap music. <laughs> yeah, this is Christmas. Next. <laughs> okay, I like it. I was like, I was liking that. <laughs> I like it. I like. If it. you guys want to veto Bob. me, if you want to, <laughs> I love Peen Bob. <laughs> okay. If you want to veto me and keep it playing, be my guest. I'm just like trying to facilitate my own short attention span. Always on the grind. Gravitas. Featuring Jess Wan, the tongue, and Peace Smurf. <laughs> this is gonna be rap. By Mail or Demon. Imagine making a rap song, uploading it, and nobody ever listening to it. 
This one actually says it has 1,700 plays. Oh, shit. So it must be like low plays. Re- released 2013. <laughs> Peen Bob says he knows Peacemer. No, you don't, bro. You don't know him. That is so- somehow that's the easiest way to get me. This song is so mid. Oh, the Sludgebob, are you from Virginia? Sludgebob is definitely based in the D.C. area. Oh, cool. Okay, let's do one more, and then we'll move. We'll go back into gem mode. I personally wasn't vibing with that one. I didn't love that one. Oh, little sister. This one goes out to my sister Mary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A little Jimi Hendrix vibes. Okay. Straight ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no frills. Yeah. <laughs> Kate, you got some fans in the chat. Uh, oh, whoa. That's crazy. That was one of the first shows that we've ever played. Really? Yeah. What year? Well, with my, I didn't put a band together until like 2018 or 2019. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's not too long ago. I always played solo until then. All right, this is definitely a hard pass. You weren't vibing? Should we give it one more? Just one more. Yeah, let's I can't, try one I more. can't get enough <laughs> of this great music that's never been heard. Ooh. Oh. Punk. Ooh. Yeah. Fucked up religion. The spiky joys. Ooh. And the attacked. Let's go. <laughs> let's fucking go. What year is it from? 97. This is pretty sick. I like this one. What do you think he's talking about? It's on Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. I love Tony Hawk. Do you? Yeah. You're a Tony Hawk girl? Well, I just like, I feel like some of that music from Tony Hawk Underground is how I was introduced to some really? good music. Yeah. The, the, the first Tony Hawk Underground game? Uh, whatever one, like I hadn't heard of Operation Ivy until Tony Hawk Underground. Oh, cool. I love that game. Yeah. It's so fun. Okay, sick. This is how we'll end our first. Or our second one. All right, who's up next? Maya, I think it's time to go to your pick. Okay. And that concludes our, I don't have a, a punch thing for this, but that concludes our, um, what are we calling it? Forgotify. Forgotify. Our f- second Forgotify section. Is there one for me? A little, like, thing for you? Yep. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Um, let's see, is there one for you? Yes, right here. Rock it, man. <laughs> I, I know, know you will. will. Do, do, do. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can use the uh, voice changer whenever you want. Thank I just you. only have one. Yeah, yeah. I but understand. if you ever want, just take the mic. Okay, thank you. Um, Piper says that she's going to go see you in Lakewood, Ohio. Oh, you, you should. You definitely should. Where did you see that? Uh, just I just remembered it oh, from like gotcha. a minute ago. Okay, okay. Okay, Maya, are you ready? You're listening to the hottest <laughs> Tech Selects. <laughs> That's right. You're here with Maya's Tech Select, Maya's Pick of the Week, Maya's Choice. What do you have for us today, Maya? I I can't decide. Should I do it? Should I do? You should do the Jane Sibbery song because I Jane love Sibbery that song, song, and I know Kate will love it. This song is called "Waitress" by Jane Sibbery. Did Jackson show you this song? No, I got it on YouTube. Jackson showed me Just this an song. algorithm feed. Wow. Ex guest cool. Jackson McIntosh. Cool. I got this one on YouTube. 
And I guess it's from a just like a tape. Okay, uh, so Kate, Sludge Bob is coming to your DC show. I don't Sludge know. Bob. So you, you better meet yeah, uh, meet, meet him me. at the merch table or something. Yeah, meet me at the merch table. And then take a the picture show. and then we'll send it to the Discord. Perfect. They want me to I play in Missouri. <laughs> I've done it a few times. I played with Shy Boys there. A true hidden hidden gem of Yeah, band. I feel like Parker knows Shy Boys. They're so somehow. good. I love Shy Boys. Okay, Ma- Maya with the Jane Sibbery. Yeah, my Jane Sibbery, it's called Waitress. This song is so fucking good. And I relate. Canadian music, though. You Did you know she's Canadian? You hate Canadian music, Maya. Well, Jane Sibbery, fuck you then. She's basically the Canadian Bjork. I love Canadians. Do you really think so? I think that this song is going to make you feel like Canadian Bjork. Okay. Cool. I love Canadian too. Waitress, waitress, waitress. I have to clear your table so I wipe it. It's right to keep it clean. So I clean, is it clean? Do you clean? Yes, I clean it. Look at the cover. I have to empty wow. ashtrays. I empty them. It's right to keep them clean. So I clean, is it clean? I'm the queen of the clean. I love the lyrics so much. It is like Bjork. I love it. I know. It's, it's so, so good. good. I probably would be famous if I wasn't such a good waitress. Is that an insanely good yeah. lyric? Weirdly listenable for how unlistenable it is. It's amazing. But I like to know their names and I know them even better when they're nice to me. And I'd probably be famous now if I wasn't such a good way. Just way, 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 just way. so good right i love it it's such a cool song you should look at can we look up a picture of what jane sibbery looks like because she looks so wild to me whoa when is she from <sighs> i think that song's from the 80s or 90s do you know where she's from? She's, she's she's canadian i think she's from west coast canada but i'm okay. not sure wow. but she looks so fun and like bubbly and and like quirky hair and cool i don't know did you did you find a pic oh that's like a classy looking photo of her wow look up some some jane sibbery like two like recents oh i just thought of a really good song i could oh. play <laughs> we can do it audible let me see how many plays it has. <laughs> doesn't she look cool wow yeah that album is so cool. Thank Canada's you, Jack. Canada's answer to Kate Bush. That's what it oh, that's what it is. It's not Bjork. It's Kate Bush. All right. So I think it's back to Kate. Oh, okay. I have one. Do you already know this song? No, I don't. Oh, no. You showed it to me with uh, with Jared, but why don't we listen cool. to it? Cool. Okay. It's called Who I Am by Joanne Grower. This is a great song. Maya, we have to do an audible on this one. Did you find it? Who I Am by Joanne Grower. Hey, and you saw Brower play. How was it? It was amazing. Where was it? It was so good. It was at uh, Monty wow. Bar. Do you know that Monty place? Monty Bar. Is it like just a sp- like a random spot that doesn't have shows? or? Uh, 
I think they have shows and people DJ a lot. I've never heard of that place. Where is it? I can't remember. Oh, the song rules. Yeah. R.I.P. Jane Birkin. Kind of reminds me of her. I love the lyrics. One always seems to be explaining to a love, answering to a doer, justifying to a no word. Mm. It's like psychedelic Judy Sill. I know, <laughs> it's so good. This song is like very low quality. Like, it, it sounds is. so lo fi. I'm feeling like it's less good hearing it this way. Yeah. I haven't noticed that it's so low quality until now. But, but it's beautiful. Yeah. Maya, what do you think? like AI. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what do you think? I was look- looking at pictures of the fox tail. <laughs> This is the foxtail that my that Miss P got stuck up her nose. There it is. In it, all its glory. Can I see it? Yes. It was so expensive to get removed. It's funny that they give it to you. This sort of sounds like Bette Midler. It kind of does. I love Bette Midler, but I think it's, it's giving Bette. Totally. Do you like Bet, Kate? I don't really know much of Bet. I love Bet. I love her uh, cover of "Do You Want to Dance" by the Ramones. Ooh, so good. Oh, I want to hear it. So good. Is this a YouTube that you found, or is this Spotify? I actually, Mike Collins showed it to me. This song. This is um, I got it on YouTube, but. It could. Is it on Spotify as well? It is on Spotify. This is yeah. because it sounds like this because it was a YouTube. Well, she's playing it from YouTube. It's uh, probably not that. Okay. Okay, I want to play um, the next song if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay, lovely tracks. Give it up for Kate Bollinger yeah. being on the show, first time live. Are you feeling more settled now that we're like an hour in? Yeah, definitely. It's not so bad. Yeah. It's just kind of ridiculous. It's a ridiculous thing to do. Yeah. It feels crazy to just be talking to the internet. I know. But welcome to, uh, you know, 2023. Yeah. This is Indie Rock. Oh, I see that you have Brower on here. Should we maybe play that one next? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, I want to play this country song. Country, modern, or 80s country rock. I think this is one that you'll really like, Kate. Cool. It's called Ain't No Money by Rodney Crowell. And I think this song has like 50,000 plays on Spotify. And it's so, so good. I want to write songs like this. This yeah. is kind of like, I think my new songs are sounding a little bit more like, kind of like Ned Doheny. And like, cool. I showed you one that I thought sounded like Michael Franks. And yeah. I think I'm doing like my more acoustic roadsy album right now. I think that's how it's shaping up. Ooh. But if I could write a country song like this or if i could maybe somehow make a song that i'm not singing with country twang but it's like this this is kind of where my head's at musically cool this album has a really funny title what's it called but what will the neighbors think oh that's such (laughs) a good name yeah that's cool you can't see it on the it's like on the album cover but for some reason you can't see it up there but yeah this one has how many plays let's see 50k it has 50k yep the, I really the cover makes it look like it would have more plays. I know. You know what I mean? I know. It's very classic, yeah, for sure. Totally. This is me driving around like in Hollywood. I listen to this. Ooh. Give it a little volume. Wow. 
It's so good, right? Yeah, it's really good. My baby tells me stop and look around. If you ain't careful, boy, you'll trouble down. The one guitar right string. Cover and you might not yeah. find none there. She say there ain't no money and it's running around. You can't make money staying at home. Yeah. I love Baby, that. There ain't no money. Baby, there ain't no money. Woo. Baby, there ain't no money. In the ones that you really love. This song goes. I love when the guitar goes. <laughs> you know who I think would like this one? Is it Parker? Yes, <laughs> it's Parker. Who Parker should is going to be a guest on the show too? Oh, he, he would said be he the really best wants to. Guest. But I said he has to have something to promote. Totally, that makes sense. Kate, you have something to promote, don't you? A uh, little tour coming up. Yeah, I do have a tour coming up. Why don't you Why don't in, you tell uh, the fans at home about it? Yeah, at the end of September, I'm going on tour on the East Coast. So come to a show. Come to a Kate show. And I'm bringing Sam Burton with me. Kate B and Sam. Sam B. The two B's. Miles, what do you think about the song? It sounds like something, and I've been trying to think about it for like the last minute. But I feel like I've heard this song before. I feel like you play it in the car a lot. I do. This is driving music. It is driving music. Totally. Late, late night drive. Oh, we've got someone named Big Toucan, first timer from Kate's IG. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming. Um, Kate, you also have a new album in the works, don't you? I do, yeah. I just recorded it. It's being mixed right now. Who did you record it with? With Sam Evian. Sam Evian. Mm -hmm. In upstate New York. So amazing. When is it coming out? Probably next year. <laughs> <laughs> we knew it. We yeah. knew you were going to say that. But as soon as possible, though. Everyone is so hyped for you, and oh, they're all coming to see you on tour. Oh, <laughs> thanks, guys. Bass tone. Very good. This kind of reminds me of a certain era of Fleetwood Mac. I want to write a song like this. I feel like there's a little something REO Speedwagon about the chorus. Oh, I love REO Speedwagon. Whoa, who is that? They're like an 80s power ballad group. Cool. Take it on the run. Take it on the run. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've never met Sludge Bob in person. Wow. But now you know about Sludge Bob. Yeah, he's, made, he's really made the rounds with the indie okay, rock community. Okay, I gotta get this straight. Is Sludge Bob from Fredericksburg or that's somebody else? I think he I think he's from Fredericksburg. Okay. I'm not sure though. I don't I don't need to know, you know. This is the <laughs> internet. It's the coffee shop of the world. Okay. How many more do you have, Kate? Um, let me see. I feel like we're coming towards the last couple here. Yeah, I'm getting a little warm. We're reaching the end. I'm getting warm too. Let's do uh one Let's do more each or Yeah. You no, I actually I how about you do one and then we do the Bobby the Bobby Love Yeah, sure. Okay, great. Um, you want to do Birth by Brower? Yes. So why don't you share about Brower? Because you love Brower. So Brower is a band that my boyfriend Parker showed me, um, who he played with in Virginia a few years ago. And I found their tape, one of their tapes, in a record store when I was home in Virginia. Yeah, that's the one. I found that tape, and I got it for Parker for Christmas. But then I ended up listening to it all the time in my car. And you are obsessed with it. And, and you've I'm talked to me about Brower it. so many times. Yeah. And I got to see them a couple weeks ago. Did you meet the amazing. guy? Um, I met one of the members, but I did not meet the main guy. I think his name's Nat or Matt Brower. I see. Yeah. That's him on the cover. What's the song called? It's called Birth. How many plays on the Brower track? It has 4,600 plays. Wow, criminally low. He's drinking a Coors Banquet. Criminally low play count. On the floor of the bathroom in a crushed velvet robe. Very, yeah. very aesthetic vibes. The Coors Banquet <laughs> tall boy. 
necessary. Not yeah. to be confused with the little boy. Oh, yeah. W- the pony. Why don't we get into it, Maya? Shall we? <laughs> no, let's just keep talking about it. <laughs> now this thing is called love. It is that. <laughs> it's what? That queen song. This thing is called love. Crazy little thing called love. Were they good live? They were one of the best bands that I've no, ever seen live. Not. Yes, I'm serious. I'm not lying. Is the guy's voice really killer? It's really good. And Parker puts it this way. They're so good that it's almost boring to watch because they're so good. Yeah, I know what you're talking about exactly. It's a big voice. Wow, he's really put the stank on it. He put a little stank on it there. Baseline's going pretty crazy. Oh shit. T Rex vibes. Totally. Maya, what do you think? It's okay. <laughs> oh, I think it's some of the best music. It's not Maya's cup of tea. But yeah. Okay. I'm going to say that Brower has left a good impression on me, but I haven't I haven't caught the Brower bug personally. Yeah. I don't know really what good. it is about it, but it's this EP is one of my favorite projects I've found in the last like five years. When is this one from? 2018. Oh, uh, great year for music. <laughs> what uh, is MILF Manor? It's a show. It's a really, really crazy fucking show. Reality TV show. That's You would probably hate it. Okay. It's about... I don't know. Eight women in their 50s date like eight men in their 20s. That sounds awesome. But all of them are each other's mom and son. Whoa. So they have to date the mo- mother's son. Like watch, you'd have to watch your mom go on dates with your friend, and oh. it's really perverted, Whoa. but it's awesome. Yeah, I want to. There's watch some it. D- absolutely grotesque scenes in the show. Uh, okay, there's. Do you guys know about McCamey Manor? No, what's that? I can't remember where it is. For some reason, I I think that it's in Virginia, but I'm not sure. But it's like the most fucked up haunted house. Uh, like Virginia in, fact? in the U.S. and they like torture people. It's they don't really actually weird. though. Well, you sign up. You have to sign a waiver saying that you're okay with whatever they are gonna do to you. Wow. What really? Gonna, what are they gonna do? They do some insane stuff. It is, is it like really spooky? Crazy. It is. Yeah, I feel dis- like I was disturbed watching it. Wow. They like. They're, McCamey? they're like uh, McCamey Manor. Yeah. Parker McKamey. <laughs> I was thinking that too. <laughs> Is it like Saw? I've never seen Saw. But oh my God! You need to see Saw. I know, I know. I've only seen the first one, and I'll never, I'll never watch another one. I think it's too scary. Saw is too scary. Yeah, it, no. I'm, that's why I've never watched it. Saw is mid. Saw one was scary, and I think it gets worse. Oh like, I, it truly do, I don't. I don't even want to know. Yeah. <laughs> This song reminds me of Queen. It really does. It reminds me of the band Queen. He's doing a Freddie Mercury thing to me. Happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Wait, what was up with the happy birthday? Is that, is that what this song's about? Yeah. yeah. Birth. It's cute. called Birth. Oh, it is. It's his, it's his uh, Beatles birthday track. And the next one, Weather? I think that this next song is going to be the last song of the night. Isn't that right? Yeah, is it? Isn't it Bobby Love Song? <laughs> it's Bobby. It's Ricky Bobby Love Song. And I think that some of the people in the chat might know Bobby Love Song. Fun fact about Bobby Love Song is that I used to be in a band with her. Really? In 2010. Fact. Wow. And that we went to college together at <gasps> Columbia College, Chicago. 
And then we both played in this indie folk band together. And she played banjo and I played acoustic guitar. Wow. And we sang harmony together. Oh, my God. Yeah, for like two years. She opened my EP release show in New York. She was one of my f- best friends in college. Like, hang out every day wow. for like years. Yeah. That is crazy. Isn't that weird? Yeah, I love her. And I want to get her on the show. She moved to New York like the day we moved to uh. LA. I know. But I love her and she has not yet been featured on the show. And I think that this is a really fun and perfect way to get her on. Wow. So what's the song that you brought? Happy birthday, Menace. Oh, shit. It's Menace's birthday? It was. Whoa, happy birthday. Wow, happy birthday. That last birthday. song by Brower goes out to you <laughs> on Paul Cherry's Hidden Gems. Okay, what's the song? It's called. The song is called. Oh, or, what's it called? The song is called Organic Orange. It has <laughs> 13,000 plays on Spotify. Okay, that's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. And if you want to hear it, this is what it sounds like. I want to hear it. Okay. <laughs> All the, f- the stands are going off for this track. They love it. Oh, big Doritos for this one. Okay. They said this is the best song since Playroom. Our collab Miss song. P. Oh, Miss P. Miss P makes her appearance at the end of the episode. She's so stoned. She is stoned and she's really tired. This song is so in tra- and like trancing. Yeah. I went to visit her once when she lived in Portland and she was making all of her music out of a trailer. Like a camper trailer that wasn't hers and there was like it was on the property of this main house of this farm and it was like an orange extension cable running from the main house into this trailer and she was living out of it because she was woofing right she was woofing and making all of her music in this like kind of abandoned trailer wow it was very trippy I can't believe that you know her yeah she's a really special person um what a great episode any reflections on being live Kate I liked it. I would do it again now that I'm comfortable, but I was not comfortable for the first. I'm used to bringing my indie rock fans onto the live stream and them not understanding like what it is and kind of being skeptical. So uh-huh. it was not. It was no. It was nothing new for me. And you rose to the occasion. And thank you for being such oh. a fun guest with great picks. Wow! Thanks everybody for tuning in. And you're always welcome back on whenever you have more songs you want to share. I'll let's be back. You should bring me and Parker back together. I definitely will. And let's see. I wanted to share something. Is that in two weeks from now, we're going to be doing a very special Paul Cherry's Hidden Gems episode. But we're going to be hosting it on this thing called Ursa, a different platform than Twitch, because they're paying me to do it. But we're going to be doing an extra special episode of Paul Cherry's Hidden Gems. It's going to be called... Paul Cherry's Hidden Gems Variety Hour or Variety Show. And we're going to have live performances. We're going to have a house band. I don't know who the guest is yet, but I think they're going to be performing as well. And it's just going to be like a longer, more fun version of Hidden Gems. And look forward to that in two weeks. And I know you just made Twitch. I know you just signed up, but now we're moving over to this other place. Only for one time for a special episode. It's going to be worth it. We got a budget, so we're going to, you know, get some extra fun in there. Okay, that's the last thing I'll plug. And I just want to say thank you, Maya, for putting up with me today (coughs) and getting on the show, even though we had a stressful day with the dog. Yeah, it was a really stressful day. It meant, meant a lot to me and the fans to do the show anyway. And and a big thank you to Kate as well for being a guest Aww. and being such a lovely friend. Thank you, Paul and Maya. So we will go out with a song. Ready?
This has been another episode of Paul Cherry's Hidden Gems Livestream, the only show on Twitch that talks about the deep cuts. Tune in next week for another episode. Hell yeah, thank you, King.